Hey, fellow Mathers, before we get into this episode, we want to share with you how you can get access to free content, professional learning that will keep your students engaged and doing the math that matters. Get ready to go to this link, mathisfigureoutable.com slash challenge. That's right. Registration is open for the free Math is Figure Outable challenge that's starting May 15th and runs to the 17th at 7 p.m. Central. We're going to have three nights jam-packed with learning and routines that you can take straight to your classroom. In these challenges, we have a great time. We do some math, talk about classroom experiences, give away super cool bonuses and prizes. You won't just walk away with routines that are naturally engaging and encourage your students to think mathematically. You'll also have a chance to win over 6 k worth in prizes, including a few virtual PD sessions for your school. I'll be joined by my wonderful co-host, Kim, and special guest, Jenna Laib. You can register at mathisfigureoutable.com slash challenge for a fantastic learning experience. That's mathisfigureoutable.com slash challenge. Now on to the show. Hey, fellow mathematicians, welcome to the podcast where math is figure outable. I'm Pam Harris. And I'm Kim Montague. And this episode is a Math Strat Chat episode where we chat about math strategies. Every Wednesday evening, I throw out a math problem on social media and people from around the world chat about the strategies they use. We love seeing everyone's thinking. So today, we are talking about the problem from last Wednesday. And that problem is 76 times 24. How would you solve this problem? Wait, wait, wait. 76 times 44. Oh, I'm solving a new problem. 76 times 44. Thank you for listening. Oh, gosh. Okay, so pause the podcast and solve the problem, people. (laughs) And then come back and hear how we solved it. So, pause the podcast. 76 times 44. Go. Okay, that's funny. All right. um, (laughs) You go. I'll stop I'm going to go first. I'm going to go first while you're laughing. That was hilarious. We're terrible at this. Somebody said to me the other day, do you guys re-record those beginnings? I'm like, yes, just listen and you'll hear how they never sound the same because we re-record every time. Okay. Uh, 76 is screaming to me 75, which screams to me quarters. So I was thinking about a quarter of 44. So if I think about a quarter of 44, um, that is, in fact, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I was actually thinking about three quarters of 44 because um, I can kind of, I don't know, that just feels like 33 to me. Mm-hmm. And then I thought, well, let me just make sure. So a quarter of 44 is 11. Sure enough, three quarters of 44 is 33. So therefore, 75 times 44 would be 3,300, like some scaling up times 100. So if 75 44s is 3,300, here's the hard part. I got to have 76 44s, got to add one more 44. So 3,300 and 44 is 3,344. Bam! That might be one of my favorite things to do ever. Where you just put two pieces together that just slide really nice. Slide. Yeah. yeah. Once you have 3,300 and 44, it's like, yeah. gee, what are those? There it is. Yeah. Yep. Nice. That's awesome. Cool. cool. What, what, what were you doing if you didn't do that? Um... Besides laughing about the problem. I know. Gosh. Um, you know what? Actually, I I chose not to go quarter route. Um, and I just wanted to see kind of what else I wanted to do. Okay. So I decided to do um, doubling and halving. Whoa. Um, not yeah, what I expected. Okay. I know. Well, and here's the thing. Because I knew from the 44 that it would get me to 11 really ah, quickly. Uh-huh, and that's uh-huh. just a 10 and a one. So I wrote down 76 times 44, which is equivalent to double half 152 times 22. Mm-hmm. Double half is 304 times 11. Nice. And then nice. I just have 304 times 10, which is 3,040. And then 304 times one, which is 304. And that's 3344. Nice. Nice. That was slick. Yours almost slides together as nice as mine. 3040 plus 304. Yeah. 3344. That's sweet. Yeah. Very, nice. very, very ad left to right for me. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We need to talk maybe more about that at some point. The whole ad to left, ad right. Yeah. Blah. That thing. <laughs> All right. What a mess we are today. But we can't bit. wait to see your strategy. Um, I wonder if it was like one of ours or something different because there's a lot of cool ways to solve 
problems. Mm -hmm. Represent your thinking and take a picture of your work or screenshot your phone and tell the world on social media. And while you're there, check out what other people did and comment on their thinking as well. Yeah, and tag me on Twitter at PW Harris or Instagram, Pam Harris underscore math. And on Facebook, math is figure outable and use the hashtag math strat chat. And make sure you check out our math strat chat problem that we post every Wednesday around 7 p.m. Central Standard Time and then pop back here to hear what we're thinking about the problem. We love having you as part of the math is figure outable movement. Let's keep spreading the word that math is figure outable. Thank you for listening and making math more figure outable. To learn even more, make sure you register for our free challenge at mathisfigureoutable.com slash challenge. You are not going to want to miss the evenings of May 15th through 17th, starting at 7 p.m. Central. Math teaching, math teaching, go register now. That's mathisfigureoutable.com slash challenge. Join us to make math more and more figure outable. And if you can't join live, register and we'll send you access to the recordings. We'll see you there.